The smart motors are all capable of being a closed loop brushless servo. Okay? They are not steppers. Anyone in here want to elaborate on what the difference between a snapper and a servo is? of the magnetic poles between the rotor and the stand. Therefore, it's commutated. Okay? It constantly knows the relationship of a north and south pole on the rotor by the north and south pole location on the stand. Okay? And typically speaking, it's producing a rotating magnetic field in the stator that the, ro that the rotor basically follows. And in, in a regular setup, that means the... Uh, the, the servo will never pull slip or go beyond its capability in commutation. It's not going to outrun it so fast that you get pole slip. In a stepper, because it's not commutated, you can go faster and faster on the stator, rotating a magnetic field until finally the rotor can't keep up and it slips, and then it loses position. Well, even if you put an encoder on it, it doesn't help because it, you're not commutating. Okay, so we are a true closed loop brushless servo. We're commutated. We are coming out with a stepper version of the same thing, which will also be commutated, which means we will know the relationship of the rotor to the stator. Okay, so that's pretty important to know. Even when we come out with a stepper, it will be closed loop and commutated, which means you can take the shaft, spring it off position, and it will spring back to where it was. Steppers don't normally do that. You spring them off position, you'll feel it pull loose and then give away and it won't go back. 